Lackluster adoption of Trace Together reason for delayed phase 3. Singapore's situation. Singapore's community COVID-19 cases are at an all-time low, with a record two weeks in November with no cases reported. Singapore has been in phase 2 for five months thus far. The pandemic pass task force has spelled out their conditions for phase 3 to begin. Number 1. 70% trace together adoption rate. Number 2. Sufficient testing capabilities. Number 3. Safe management compliance. Trace together adoption rate too low. By the end of December, the trace together app or token will replace the safe entry QR codes and will be mandatory at public venues. Trace together is considered to be more effective at contact tracing which will be necessary to counter the risks of Phase 3. As of now, nearly 2.9 million of Singapore's 5.7 million population have downloaded the app or collected the token, nowhere near the 70% required. The tokens are currently being distributed one constituency at a time. The app has been criticised for its heavy battery use, and there are insufficient tokens as demand was higher than anticipated. Good testing capabilities. Singapore has a rigorous testing regime, with both proactive and reactive testing being done. Proactive testing is done in high-risk dormitories, industries for frontline workers, and also in the form of school swabbing exercises. Reactive testing is done for discovered cluster sites and patients with acute respiratory infection. Proper safe management compliance. The public is generally complying with mask wearing, social distancing, and not gathering in groups of more than five persons. There were, unfortunately, several recent incidents of rules flouting though, at Teka Centre, Gemma Steakhouse, and Foot Locker. Other risks, if Singapore never opens up its borders, the dire global situation will be unlikely to affect us. However, we may have to eventually open up to some countries for business travellers and tourists to support our commercial and tourism sectors. Additionally, if we continue high restrictions with such low cases, people will struggle to follow the rules as they may feel like their reward I mean for their efforts are not being rewarded. However, saying that, we do not want to end up like South Korea, which was hit by a third wave and now has hundreds of daily cases, 85% of which are untraceable.